Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will look at 15 scenario based interview questions as part of your uh, Ansible. Now these questions will help you to showcase your expertise on uh, Ansible and whether you are preparing for an interview or you're just looking to expand your Ansible knowledge, then you are in the right place. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to share uh, the channel among your uh, friends and your circle. So let's dive into this. The first question I have is you need to provision a new server instance on AWS with Ansible. How would you approach this uh, task? So uh, essentially what we can do is we can create an Ansible playbook and uh, we can make use of the EC2 module which help which will help us to launch uh, EC2 instances. Now. Uh, um, uh, in this uh, playbook, we, we, we will need to specify the details about the instance, like the instance type, uh, in which region you want to launch the instance, what security groups to attach, among other uh, configuration parameters. And uh, we can also include tasks within the playbook to tag the instance for organization and also set up any SSH key. So in case you want to log into the EC2 instance, you can uh, set up your SSH key pairs to uh, connect to the EC2 instance. So we can write a playbook uh, and this will help us to launch an EC2 instance on, on the AWS platform. The next question we have is you have multiple web servers running Apache and you need to ensure that a specific configuration file is consistent across all the web servers. How would you achieve this with Ansible? So for this again, we will create an Ansible role which will define the desired state of the Apache config file. So the, the specific configuration file for your Apache that you need to make consistent, you will be defining that desired state within the Ansible role. And this role will generally include the task to uh, template the configuration files with your uh, variables so the um, uh, config file with the respective variables and then distribute this to all the web servers and then finally restart the apache service to apply the changes uniformly so basically we will have a role we will have a variable which will have the configuration files and your settings then we will distribute this configuration file to all the web servers you want and then finally once that is done we will restart the apache service which will apply the configuration files that we have copied to the web servers the next question we have is your term team is deploying a new version of a web application across multiple servers how would you use ansible to automate the deployment process so for this again we can create an ansible playbook which will pull the latest version of our application uh, let's say from a version control system so we have the uh, application code stored in a version control system we can pull the latest version of that application from the version control system and then we can copy this uh, uh, application code to the target servers could be your application servers the remote machines where you want to uh, run your uh, application and then perform any necessary configuration updates that uh, needs to be done in order to reflect the uh, new application uh, that we are deploying okay so the necessary updates needs to be performed now uh, the playbook would also consist of tasks which will help us to stop the existing application and then deploy the newer version of the application on to these target servers and then start the updated application and this will ensure we have a smooth and consistent deployment process so basically we pull the code from our uh, version control system we copy the code to the target servers and perform the uh, uh, configuration files updates post that will stop the existing application deploy the newer version of code that we have start the updated application and this will basically make uh, ensure we have a smooth and consistent deployment process for the application the next question we have is you want to perform rolling updates to a group of servers without causing any downtime how would you implement this using ansible so for this we can essentially make use of ansible's serial keyword which will help us to control the number of servers that uh, can be updated simultaneously so if you have like lots of servers that needs to update to be updated instead of update, updating all the servers in a single shot we can specify you can control 
how many servers you want to be updated uh, simultaneously. So uh, we can set up a suitable value for this serial. It can be one or a percentage of the total servers, like 10 percentage, 20 percentage of the total servers we have. And then Ansible will update those servers one by one or in small batches. And this will ensure that the application remains available throughout the update process. So we won't be having any downtime. Uh, we would have the old application running as well as we will be deploying the newer uh, version of the application to a certain percentage of the target servers uh, one by one and that way eventually we will have the updated application all the servers without any downtime the next question we have is you have a load balancer that needs to be updated with the ip addresses of uh, newly provisioned servers how would you automate this task with ansible so for this again we can create a playbook which will dynamically retrieve the ip addresses of the new server so any new servers that are created the playbook will uh, dynamically get the ip addresses of these new servers and then accordingly update the load balancers configuration file so that uh, the load balancer points to the new servers automatically so this playbook will generally make use of the easy to instance facts module to gather the information about the new servers that we have provisioned over here and then we make use of the appropriate module to update the load balancer configuration so all of these will be defined within the playbook so whenever new servers are launched it will get the ip addresses dynamically by making use of the cc to instance facts module and then update the load balancer configuration file so it is updating uh, it is pointing to the new servers the next question we have is your organization requires regular security patching of servers how would you automate the process using Ansible? So with this, we can create an Ansible playbook which makes use of either APT or the YUM modules to apply the security updates on the uh, Linux machines that we have. Okay, so any necessary packages that needs to be um, applied. Um, so this playbook would also contain all the necessary packages that needs to be updated. And it should generally run periodically by making use of the Ansible's scheduling capabilities or we can also integrate with the CI-CD pipelines to ensure we, we basically have a timely patching of these uh, servers. So, you know, kind of a, on a schedule we are patching the servers and we can make use of the YUM or APT module to do this. The next question we have is you need to automate the backup of a MySQL database running on multiple servers. How would you accomplish this with Ansible? So for this particular requirement, we can write an Ansible playbook, which will essentially connect to each of the DB servers and then execute a MySQL dump command on to these uh, DB servers. Now this command would create a backup of the uh, database for us and then also transfer this uh, DB copy to a backup server or to a storage location that we have defined, right? Uh, now we can either have this running on a schedule to like you know run regularly so that the db backups are performed consistently okay so uh, ensuring that we always have the database backups and they are performed consistently we can uh, write a playbook for that as well so essentially connect to the database run the sql command to uh, take a backup and then push that backup to a backup server and we'll be running this on a, a regular schedule so that we always have the backup of the database the next question we have is in the event of a disaster you need to restore a critical application to a previous state using ansible how would you implement this so for this essentially we can create an ansible playbook which will help us to retrieve the necessary application um, along with the configuration files from the backup store so we will have backups of the applications the configuration the database and everything so we'll have to simply restore uh, retrieve the configuration files of the applications uh, from this backup uh, story and then deploy them back to the target server so the playbook would also include tasks to restore the db backups and other dependencies and this will ensure that the application is fully recovered to the previous state of the application so for example uh, the application was upgraded to version 3.0 now we need to go back to version 2.0 so we'll have a backup of version 2.0 we will simply take that and restore it on the target servers 
The next question we have is you have a separate development staging and production environments each with different configuration settings. How would you manage deployments across these environments using Ansible? So for this, we'll basically make use of your inventory file, inventory system to maintain uh, separate groups for each of these environments. So we'll have one group for the production, one group for the development, one group for QA and then um, so on. And then specify environment specific variables within the uh, playbooks. Now, by parameterizing the Ansible uh, playbook tasks and leveraging dynamic inventory, we can always ensure that the deployments are tailored to each environment's requirement uh, while maintaining consistency across the environment. So essentially, we maintain separate groups for each of the environments and then we have variables for the environment um, uh, specific. So that when we're doing the deployments, it will uh, pick the uh, variables according to the uh, environments that we have specified. And this will basically maintain consistency across different environments for us. The next question we have is you need to configure a high availability setup for a critical application using Ansible. How would you approach this task? So for this, we can write an Ansible playbook that provisions all of the redundant uh, infrastructure components. Now, these infrastructure components can include your load balancers, your auto scaling groups, and also your DB clusters and all of this running across multiple availability zones and regions. And this will ensure we have a high availability for the uh, application. The playbook would also include your tasks uh, as to, you know, failover mechanisms, uh, health checks and monitoring alerts and this will ensure we have continuous availability and resiliency of the application that we are running on the target servers so one we are making it making the infra highly available by making use of load balancers auto scaling groups and also implementing failover mechanisms and health checks and monitoring alerts that way we can make sure the application is highly available and also resilient the next question we have is you're managing a docker swarm cluster and need to deploy a new service across multiple nodes how would you orchestrate this deployment with ansible so for this we will again write an ansible playbook which will interact with the docker swarm api and uh, this playbook will help us to deploy the new service specifications to the docker swarm uh, cluster now the playbook would also include tasks which will help us to scale the service configure network settings and also manage any service updates and that ensures that we have uh, the service deployment consistently and efficiently across the swarm so basically we write a playbook which will interact with the docker swarm and then using those uh, playbook the task within the playbook we will uh, deploy new services uh, we can also scale up the services on the target servers uh, which will help us to manage the updates to the service consistently and efficiently across the Docker Swarm cluster. The next question we have is you're responsible for managing a Kubernetes cluster and need to automate routine maintenance tasks. So how would you use Ansible for cluster management? So with this, we can make use of your Ansible playbooks, which will utilize either the Kubernetes modules or your command line tools and this will help us to perform tasks such as your node provisioning on the cluster or deployment of your pods or any configuration updates as well as your cluster scaling so we can define ansible playbook for that so by abstracting your kubernetes operations into ansible tasks we can automate the cluster uh, management of your cluster tasks and also ensuring you have consistent configuration across the entire cluster the next question we have is your organization needs to ensure compliance with security policies and regulatory requirements. How would you use Ansible to perform compliance checks? So we can create an Ansible playbook which will basically execute the security scans for us. In addition to that, it will also do an auditing of the configurations and do a compliance checks against the predefined benchmarks or the policy. So we can write a playbook which will scan the uh, servers, uh, audit the configuration files, and also do a comp uh, compliance checks based on the benchmarks or the policies that we have defined. So these playbooks will make use of Ansible's built-in modules, or you can write your own custom scripts as well. And this will help us to assess the overall state of the managed uh, systems 
and then report if there are any deviations from the desired configurations and this will help us to uh, remediate actions to bring systems into compliance. So if something goes wrong, uh, uh, Ansible playbook, playbook will get to know about it and then we can take actions to bring the systems into compliance. The next question we have is your organization is migrating workloads from on-premises data centers to the cloud. How would you orchestrate the migration process with the Ansible? So for this, we can again create an Ansible playbook that will help us to provision the resources in the cloud. So it could be your network, your servers, your database and everything. And then also configure the network settings and deployment of the application to the target um, environment. Okay. Now, by abstracting the infrastructure components, we can ensure we have a consistent and uh, deployment patterns and also streamline the migration process across multiple environments. So basically provision all the cloud resources, uh, uh, configure the network settings and then start deploying the application to the target environments. And this will ensure we have a consistent deployment pattern. And we can also streamline the migration process across multiple environments. The next question we have is you want to implement self-healing capabilities for critical systems using Ansible. How would you design and deploy self-healing workflows? So for this, we can write an Ansible playbook that will continuously monitor the system health as well as the performance uh, metrics. Uh, check for any uh, anomalies or any failures and then trigger automated remediation actions to restore the service availability so you know continuously look for your disk utilization and if the disk is above certain capacity then go and delete old files automatically or performance uh, metrics or any failures so we'll trigger scripts which will automatically help us to fix these problems so by integrating ansible with monitoring and alerting systems we can orchestrate your self-healing workflows which will proactively respond to events and also minimize the downtime of the applications. And this will ensure that we have a continuous operation of the critical system. So monitoring plays a very crucial role over here. So that brings us to the end of our 15 scenario based interview questions for your Ansible. I hope you found this uh, video helpful for your Ansible journey. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let me know in the comments section what other topics you would like me to cover. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.